This was unlike any other bone I'd seen before because it was absolutely massive. This was about a meter in length, but the bone was incomplete. Together, me and Judy, we went out to Canada. We went to study another giant ichthyosaur, but this one was much more complete. It was about 21 meters in length. Comparing it with that specimen and various other ichthyosaurs, we determined that this animal that Paul's bone belonged to must have been somewhere between about 22 and 26 meters in length, total length of the body, which is an absolutely enormous animal about the size of a blue whale. Now, what we decided to do was to look at some old historic specimens that were collected over 150 years ago, which were originally identified as belonging to dinosaurs and then to some other unusual reptiles. Well, it turns out by comparison with Paul's bone and the skeleton at the Royal Terrell Museum in Canada, they also belong to ichthyosaurs. And one of those specimens is even bigger than Paul's. 